So now we have our beach balls inflated and we need to mark the hole sizes for the waist and the thigh. To take these measurements, you can use a flexible tape measure like this. Measure around your waist to get the circumference, but also bring it down and measure the widest part around like your butt and hips because this also has to get through that same hole. So and that, that can be a tight measurement. You just know that that's how tight it is gonna be when you put it on. So we'll say 40 inches. The next thing that you want to do is you want to take and measure around the thigh. I'm going to take everything out of my pocket. And you want to do this fairly close to the crotch. And I got 24, if I pull it tight, let's say 24 and a half. Now, this uh, set of beach ball shorts is actually not going to be for me. I'm going to make these for a customer, and I already have their measurements uh, written down. If you're having uh, somebody else provide measurements, just make sure they uh, understand how to take them properly. So between the, the waist and the hips, you want to take the, the larger of the two. For some, for some people, the uh, hips are larger. Some, for some people, the, the waistline might be a little bit larger. So just whichever of those two is the, is the largest is what you're going to go with for the, for the opening. And the waist uh, opening is going to be right here because we don't need this inflation valve. We're, gonna put, we're actually going to put a new valve in. And so we might as well use this end of the beach ball. We want to keep this one uh, on there. And we want to lose this end here. So this particular um, set is going to have a 42 inch waist hole. So that's a circumference. Um, the easiest way to, to cut this is we can take and convert that into a radius where we can come down and draw a dot on each of these lines from the center here. So 42 inches, if I take that and if I divide 42 by pi, which is 3.14, that gives you a diameter. So going from circumference to diameter, you divide by pi. So uh, for a 42 inch circumference, I'm gonna end up with a 13.38 inch um, diameter. But I don't really want diameter. Diameter is kind of from one side of the circle to the other. I want the radius, so that's half of that. So half of 13.38 is gonna give me 6.69. So if I take my tape measure, get the right end, and if I measure from the center, I'm gonna use a silver Sharpie because this will actually wipe off with isopropyl alcohol. And I'm gonna mark 6.69. So that'd be 6.5. Gonna go right in here. So that's yeah, about there, right there. Kind of doesn't have to be, you know, super exact. This material does stretch a little bit. And actually, what I ought to do is I'm gonna put a couple of dots in between. So that way when I kind of can go through and play connect the dots, I'll have some in-betweens. Make sure I'm not slipping up here at the top. And I'm just gonna continue on until I have uh, this all the way around and then I'm gonna repeat this exact same thing on the second beach ball. So now that I have this um, all marked off with dots, I can take this and if I want to, go ahead and kind of connect the dots. You 
you don't have to, you could just cut from dot to dot, but I like to have a nice line to follow. All right, now I've got a uh, circle drawn all the way around. And if you really wanted to, you could take and measure that circumference and it should give you 42 inches. So the next thing I wanna do um, before I cut into these is go ahead and mark the leg holes. Now the easiest thing to do there is to actually do a pattern on a piece of paper because you can basically make a circle and then we can place it where we want it. We can adjust, you know, exactly where we wanna put it. Uh, trace that out and then move it to the where the other leg position is and trace it out again. So with a 30 inch thigh, I can do the same calculation and divide uh, 30 inches by pi, which is 3.14. That gives me a diameter of 9.55. And then it gives me a radius of uh, 4.78. So if you divide the diameter of 9.55 in half, that'll give you the 4.78. Um, so if you want to, um, now it looks like I may need to use a couple sheets of paper because I'm getting just a little bit off. Expand my paper there. So I'm going to make a little dot and that's going to be my center. So what I want to do is make marks at 4.78. If you've got a tool to draw circles, that's awesome. You could go ahead and use it here. Um, otherwise, you can just kind of make a bunch of marks. All right, so now I have all my little dots drawn at 4.78 so I can if I want to I can go ahead and connect the dots it'll give me a nice line to follow when I cut this out and then we'll cut it out all right now we've got our uh, pattern our template for the leg hole we're gonna go ahead and position this and then mark it so what we want to do first is determine what do you want in the front well, typically I'll go with the pink in the front and that is because it'll put this print that's on the beach ball in the back. So you can do whatever you want, but once you determine it, if you look at it here, if we pick pink to be the front, then we can use this line to center. So the, the leg hole will basically go just half in the white and half in the yellow here. And then same thing on this side, it'll go half on the white and then half in the blue here. Usually uh, what I'll do is kind of want to look at this and make sure that I got enough material here. And then normally I will space this about four inches apart. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just kind of check and see what that leaves me here. So if I put my two right in the center, and if I put this right on that mark, how does that look? It looks pretty good. So you can, you can change this if you want. If you want to spread the legs further apart, you can do that. It's up to you. So what I'm going to do is I am going to tape this on. And what I want to do is kind of look at it and eyeball this and make sure it looks like it's kind of going, going even on both sides. I can actually, since I take two pieces of paper together, I can kind of use this eh, more or less the seam where the paper comes together. I can kind of use that more or less as like a, as a guide. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just tape this in a couple of spots. 
and then I'm going to flex this as I draw my leg hole. All right, so now <clears throat> I took it off and then I filled in where the tape was. And now I'm gonna move this to the other side, tape it just like we did before. And then I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Now that I've got both of my leg holes, I've also got my waist hole uh, outlined on this one beach ball, I'm going to go and make sure that I also have those same leg holes uh, outlined on my second one. I've already got the, the waist hole. So I'll go ahead and do that same process on here. Make sure that this is in the same spot, unless you want to change up what the inside looks like. I usually try to kind of just do the same thing. I'll do the pink in the front so that we'll mark the one leg hole along this seam and one along this seam. So I'll go ahead and do that and then we'll be ready to cut.